Hey guys, welcome to Geo Mutoku. In today's video, we are covering the topic of topography associated with massive igneous rocks. Today, we are looking at intrusive lead forms. Intrusive lead forms. The word intrusive means that these lead forms are below the surface. Now, let's take a look at my diagram. So this is the surface, and now this is under the surface. This is showing us under the surface, right? Remember from grade 10 when we did the internal structure of the earth. Let me just throw it on the side quick, just a quick recap. When we did, when we did internal structure of the earth in grade 10, we said the uppermost layer is known as the crust. Is the crust. And we live, let me draw someone there. We live above the crust, right? We live on the crust. And then below the crust, we have our mantle. Our mantle. Below the mantle was our outer core. And then, uh, and then deep, deep down, we have our inner core, right? And now, when we spoke about state of material, we said our crust is a solid, is made up of solid rock. Solid rock. And then our mantle is made up of a molten rock molten rock it's made up of molten rock but then our mental is a semi-molten right it's plastic like and then our outer core is molten it's liquid completely liquid and then our inner core is solid right now i want us to focus on the mental and the crust i just mentioned that the mental is made up of molten material the word molten means liquid form it means liquid form now this rock is in liquid form in the mantle. Is in liquid what form? It is molten magma. Molten what? Magma. Right. The word igneous means fire. It means fire. The word igneous means fire. Right. As you can see from my diagram, this is my molten rock. Right. This magma. It is fire. It is extremely hot. Right. So in the mantle, the rock is in liquid form and we know that when it erupts as a volcano we get lava on the surface right which is also extremely hot hot now looking at this diagram this diagram is showing us our crust and then we know that below our crust we have our mantle this diagram is showing us our crust right now below the surface below the surface i have my molten material my molten what material or my let's say my molten rock my rock in liquid form now in red i'm tr i'm trying to depict the molten rock the magma let's call it the magma right because this molten material or this molten rock is called the magma when it's below the surface but when it is a volcano when it goes above the surface now we call it lava right the molten material is magma when it's below the surface but when it's above the surface it is lava right so this is my crust below the crust i have my mantle my mantle has molten material you can see that now this molten material you can see that i drew it in red it's trying to force its way up into the surface you can see that it's forcing its way up into the surface that's very important to note this molten material is trying to go up into the surface we know a few things now we know that molten rock refers to molten rock refers to my rock in liquid form a rock in liquid form right magma magma is molten rock below the surface below the surface but when this molten rock goes above the surface it is known as lava known as lava and then you must know that our igneous rock Igneous rock is made from molten material. From molten material, right? So when this molten rock cools and solidifies, cools and solidifies. Solidifies means it becomes solid. When it cools and solidifies, it forms this type of rock known as an igneous rock, right? Let's talk about what's happening on the diagram, right? So this molten material, as it tries to push its way upwards, it 
means intrusive landforms. Intrusive means that these landforms are below the ground. Extrusive means they are exposed. They are above the ground, right? So <clears throat> this molten material, as you can see, as it forces its way up, it forms different types of land. You can see we have different shapes, right? These landforms have names. These intrusive landforms have names. We are going to name them. But before we go there, if you look at my diagram, you can see that I drew uh, horizontal lines in black, horizontal lines, horizontal lines, and horizontal lines. This is to depict the strata. The strata. Strata means layers of rock, right? These horizontal lines in black are showing you my sedimentary rock. Don't forget the sedimentary rock. The sedimentary rock is the layered rock, right? Because it has horizontal layers. So these these black lines are showing you my sedimentary rock. Don't forget about that one. And then this red part is showing you my molten material, right? My molten material, my igneous rock. My igneous what? Rock. Okay. Now this red part is my molten molten rock, my rock in liquid form. As it, for, as it forces its way up, it forms intrusive landforms. The first one is right at the surface. Can you see this one? The largest one. If you look at this one here at the, at the surface, this red part here, this is the largest intrusive landform. It is known as the Bertholin. That's the Bertholin. The largest intrusive landform. Right? It has an irregular shape. Can you see? Let me just make it look irregular. It has an irregular shape. The bedroom is the largest. B for big. Bedroom is that letter B. B for big. It is the largest intrusive landform, right? It has an irregular shape. And it is made up of granite. Granite is a type of igneous rock. It is made up of granite. When it is exposed to the surface, can you see all these uh, layers of sedimentary rocks? They can be eroded away, and then this landform can be exposed to the surface. When it's exposed, it forms our granite dome, which we are going to cover in our next video, right? But for now, just know that the bethylene is the largest intrusive landform. It has an irregular shape. When it is exposed to the surface, when it is exposed to the surface, and this part here will erode away until this one is exposed to the surface. It forms a granite dome. A granite dome. Okay. Now, okay, so the first one dealing with our petrolate. If we look at this one here, can you see this one here? It has a mushroom shape. It is bent upwards. Can you see that it has an upward bend? An upward bend. This one, this one occurs when this magma, this magma, this molten material still tries to force its way up, right? And then it becomes uplifted, forming a mushroom shape. The intrusive landform is known as the lecolith. As the lecolith, double C. Is the lecolith. The lecolith has a mushroom shape. There's a mushroom shape it happens that this molten material tries to force its way up and then look at what happens to the overlying rock can you see that overlying rock strata i'm referring to the rock above it it is overlying if i say underlying i mean this one the rock strata below it but overlying i mean above it look at what happened to this overlying rock right it, it was also bent upward it is forced upward can you see it curves upwards now it curves upwards so the lecolith the lecolith has a mushroom shape it looks like a mushroom right it looks like a mushroom it forces the overlying sedimentary rock remember these layers are represented by sedimentary rock it, it makes the overlying sedimentary rock to be curved or bent upwards as well you can see it it's curved upwards curved upwards now, when this one is exposed, it forms our cuesta dome. Our cuesta dome. Can you see that there's a dome shape? This mushroom shape. It's almost like a dome, right? So when it's exposed, it forms our cuesta dome. Our cuesta dome. Now, 
let's keep this one for now let's go to this one uh let's do what happens here this is my molten material you see when it cools it becomes heavy and then it sags and then it sags or it sinks to form a saucer shape it's almost like a source right we call this intrusive landform a lopo a lopo lake it has a saucer shape it has a saucer shape it has a saucer shape when this molten material cooled it became heavy and then it sinks and then look at what happens to the overlying rock the overlying rock bends downwards it goes down as well you can see how it sinks as well the overlying sedimentary rock bends downwards now let's look at this one here look at let's look at what happened to this molten material can you see how way it went this one cooled in horizontal layer we call this one our cell it is the cell think of a window cell it is horizontal it is horizontal. when a cell is exposed to the surface it can form our flat topped mountains our flat topped mountains remember it is horizontal when it is exposed it can form our flat top mountains this one here is our dike it is the dike a dike is the vertical intrusion is the vertical intrusion but if you look at this one it's not facing straight upwards right it don't, it don't always be facing directly above right it's almost a vertical we call it our vertical intrusion which is the dike d-y-k-e let me just throw it in another way on this side okay so our dike is our vertical intrusion so i, I drew another one i drew another dike on this one you see it's vertical this one is straight up where well, this one is slightly bent to the side it is still a dike right the dike is the vertical intrusion when it's exposed it can form the hogsback ridge the hogsback ridge right? now this this pathway can you see this pathway which the, the magma takes to reach the surface this pathway you can see it goes up this pathway is known as the pipe it is known as the pipe intrusive landforms can also be called uh, platonic rocks platonic but extrusive landforms can be called volcanic rocks volcanic what rocks okay don't forget intrusive the word intrusive is telling us that these landforms are below the surface right they are below the surface now what happens over time over millions of years is that you see, you see these sedimentary rocks they are going to erode away going to erode and then these landforms here are going to be exposed to the surface right this overlying rock the overlying i mean the rock above can you see it can all be eroded away when they are eroded away these parts are going to be exposed to the surface to form our massive igneous rocks right uh grade 11 we are going to deal with two of them our granite dome and tors okay now let's try to label this diagram of intrusive landforms uh, let's start with number one as you can see number one is the largest intrusion so it's obviously our petolith right it has an irregular shape as you can see from this diagram right and then if you look at uh, landform two landf landform two uh, resembles a mushroom it is a mushroom shape so that's our lecolith it is our lecolith and if you look at the overlying uh, strata the overlying sedimentary rock you can see it's even curved upwards right because it was pushed up by that molten material uh, if you look at number three number three is our saucer shaped uh, intrus intrusion uh, which is the low polyth number three is the low polyth if you look at number four number four is a vertical shape so that's our dike number four is the dike okay now let's move on to number five number five is our horizontal intrusion which is our cell which is our cell 